Hello everyone! Welcome, Welcome to episode 57! You know, uh, last time my mother worked in school, right? Mm. Then she said that she always don't like to work during the school holidays. Oh, why? Because she said that... Uh, Okay, normally school all this there won't be any students, right? Maybe yeah. one or two will come back, mm. lah. Then sometimes teachers will come back, but most of the time only the workers will be there, right? Mm. So she always say like she feel very like alone. Oh. Yeah, like she feel like the school like abandoned for you know like so many years. That kind of feeling, lah. Not much of thing, and then it's boring also, you see. Mm. Yeah, so she always like say that I, I really do like to work on school holidays. But what about yourself? You were in school also, right? Mm. So how was your last year school holidays? Was it busy? Uh, busy in the sense, yeah, lah. Because there was some like uh, maintenance work, mm. then book sales, uniform sales, and all that. But apart from all that also, right? When there's no one, ah, once the, the maintenance time over, book sales time over, so right? Somehow you will not feel alone. Not alone. Okay, this didn't happen last year, 2020, because 2020 was already a horror themed year for many of us down there. This happened in 2019. Okay. okay. So this was a uh, 2019 December holidays lah. So I'm not going to share one incident, two incidents, but three incidents which happened. Okay. <laughs> really, one story really was very creepy. You got three stories lah. And all of them happened in that December holiday period. Okay, start. <laughs> okay, this is the first incident. So it came at a time when it was raining heavily. So, uh, like, there was a water everywhere, like, fallen leaves, and the place was dirty because, you know, those twigs all mm. fall and all that. Uh. So, I was cleaning up the place, like, the surrounding place and all that. Then, it was also my free time at that point of time, like, because there was not much uh, work to do also. Mm. So, I was cleaning the surrounding area, so my hands were a bit dirty. So, it's quite a distance to go and wash my hands, like. So, I have to go into the school and then see which toilet is not... Uh, under cleaning or what and then go wash my hand or what lah so there's this particular toilet where it's closest to my gut post so I'll put a sign in saying that I'm going for a toilet break go and wash my hand lah so when I went to this uh, boy's toilet right it's the ground level toilet lah so when uh, whenever I enter any toilets or what right like, and especially when the school is like so called abandoned lah school holidays right, right I will always knock the door first just in case lah, like you know, something there or what, no? So I went knock three times and then I, when I open the door, the lights are off. So I went on the light. Mm. So I went to wash my hand time. I was hearing like a lot of like uh, sounds lah. Sounds in the sense like walking footsteps outside and all that. So my mindset was, okay, maybe the maintenance personnel, the OSOs, they are doing their rounds, checking all lah. So, I remember clearly, I washed my hands. There was a bang behind me. So, when I turned right, when I turned, it was actually the one of the door closed, the cubicle door closed. So, again, I just speculated because there are windows right above. Mm. So, maybe the wind, mm. like, the wind. Cause I said it was raining heavily that day. Mm. So, could have been like that. So it was the cubicle number two la. Okay. So it closed shut. Then after when I look, right? Normally when it closed with that impact it will come back a bit, right? But it just closed shut. I didn't really bother much la. So I just washed my hand. And as I was washing my hand, right? I heard like scratching sound. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> so it was like coming from behind me also and when I turned and looked it was coming from that door so I was like talking to myself like talking within myself I was like okay I'm not here to disturb anything don't disturb me okay so I washed my hand nicely already I washed my face because I was like a bit sweaty and all that lah. so wash my face already and all that I turn off the tap as I was walking by, right, at the side of my, 
eye view, uh, I can see the cubicle door is closed. Above the cubicle door is like the toilet light. Mm. But as I was walking by, I didn't only see that. There was actually a girl sitting on top of the door. <laughs> yes, at the, the side, right? I could see that clearly because when I saw that, I stood. She was still sitting down there. Why I would say she? Because long hair. But it was not of a big size girl, an adult or what, no, it's like definitely a small size person mm -hmm. but sitting down on top of the frame of the cubicle door number two. But this is what creeped me out. Mm -hmm. Because from my eye view, I can see that, right? Mm -hmm. As I was turning to see, still sitting down there. I turn, gone. <coughs> So I was like, Ciao. <laughs> just go. Just go, just go. I went out, I off the toilet lights because the school rule have already said like whenever uh, December holidays or like June holidays, what? Toilet not in use, off the lights. Mm. Children are not there and all that. Like. Now off, outside the toilet, I was actually praying within myself. Again, if I've offended you in any way, I'm sorry. I'm not here to disturb anyone. I'm here to work only. So I went back to my guard post. So I was quiet the rest of the day la, like In my mind I was thinking In the boys toilet why is there a girl? Like you know that kind of thing Or maybe Because this school is an old school So maybe before that it was a girl's toilet mm. No, sometimes maybe they swap over yeah, but, yeah, like, We will not know la. So And I've already mentioned in my episode 5 before We will never know the history of the school No? So like, this could be one of the case lah. So the second incident, which was the mid month around there, no, mm. okay, it was the mid month around there. This one quite freaky lah, because it happened in the same toilet. <laughs> okay, so already this incident happened, okay, already this happened already. So I was a bit cautious of this toilet, mm. but. Whenever it's a bit busy and all that, that's the only toilet I can go to. That's the nearest lah. Okay. To wash hand, okay. to go to toilet lah for you all know what. So when the time came, I just wanted to have a toilet break. So I told my colleague, hey, boss, I go to the toilet for a while lah. So uh, I, I went to the same toilet lah. By the time the lights were on, the door was wide open. That means mm -hmm. there was a stopper. So okay. to indicate like they're going to do the cleaning soon. Oh. That kind of thing lah. Okay, so I went in, so I went and used the toilet, the normal urinal, not the cubicle. Then I went to wash my hand. Again, right? The toilet door, cubicle number two, closed shut. <laughs> Again, so in between the first incident and this incident, like, Many other days have passed, but this never happened. La. So this is like the mid of the month. La. The toilet door, cubicle number two, door closed. La. Mm. Okay? I just laughed to myself. I was like, don't know what's going to happen today. La. So I just washing my hand. I stopped washing my hand for a while. Because there was this very silent um cry no coming from the cubicle like sniffing like trying be trying the best not to cry but crying and it was a small child's cry as I turned right and I went nearer to the cubicle it was coming from cubicle number two behind the closed door so I was like is there a child inside or what? Like, it's December or it is. Yeah. So my mindset came like, maybe somebody came to buy books. Mm. So the child come inside or what? No, I, I don't know. Yeah. So many things, no? 
So nowadays, uh, child safety and all that uh, is very important and heavily practiced in most schools. Uh, so they said to try not to engage to a child and all that uh, for many reasons. So I knocked the door. Because when I knocked the door, it was locked. Okay? So as I knocked, I said, hello? Um, boy, I, uh, everything okay inside or not? Immediately my mind was mm. a boy la. Boy, everything okay? He started crying even more heavy. Mm. So I was like, okay, there's some problem. But the door is locked. So I told boy, anything, please unlock the door. Uncle is here to mm. talk to you. Anything, please open the door, please, and all that. I was tempted uh, to actually climb on top of the door and peep at the boy but not nice also mm. because that would be another problem yeah, yeah, yeah. then another temptation underneath but wrong also so I don't know what to do so I was a bit helpless you know, at that point of time so what I did was I called my colleague first I said that there's a problem in the toilet I let me settle it first then I come back to the guard post. He said, okay. So I called the... He's in good repo with us, so I called him. I said, boss, uh, are you free or not? And I said, ah, yeah, yeah, why? Ah? They said, ah, no, there's a problem in the toilet. Lah. You come here first, lah, I'll tell you later. And when I was talking, all this in the phone, right? The child was still crying inside. Mm. The cubicle number two, you know. Okay. The door never opened, nothing. So... Immediately, uh, he came. Okay. Okay, Abe. What happened? Then he was like, Hey, who la crying inside? Mm. So, so he also... Ah. Yeah, okay. He also heard the thing. So I was like, I was like, yeah, there's a child crying inside. So he spoke in uh, Chinese. La. Mm. Hey, like, come out la, and all mm. that. The child was still crying inside. <laughs> yes. The child was still crying inside and we didn't know what to do. So he had that special key eh, to unlatch the door. So uh, he said, okay, wait here, I'm going to take and come. Okay. Okay. So he just murmuring among himself and he just went out. Lah. The child was still crying. Mm. So he went out. Yeah. Okay. So don't know what to do. So I said, okay, boy, please don't cry. Anything come out. I get one security uncle here. I think if you know me means I'll be talking to you. Like I'm trying to talk to the child. So don't know what's going on, you see, like Really, we don't know what's going on, no So he came back with that special key la. Mm. So as he uh, As he was like um, Placing it in the keyhole mm. to turn, right The child was still like Sniffing, this time calm down already Like sniffing, sniffing, okay. like that only okay. He had to turn quite hard Because it's locked mm. So he turned quite hard We opened there was no one inside. Seriously, this was what the both of us were reacting. Seriously. So who was crying? That's why I have no idea. Then he he is so like stunned. Then I said, boss. Boss, huh? Hey, who? Where? Then we tried the the lock. Because if it was windy, maybe the door locked by itself. Because if the latch was loose la. So when we tried to close the latch right It had to be like with a bit of force Then only you can latch it Okay, so which means by wind also cannot Cannot la. Okay But Then after that also he was shocked But oh, the sound was coming from here yeah. well, Cannot be from outside well. I said yeah exactly And then, then he looked at me and said uh, Russian, uh, Your guard post got any got photo or not I said yeah, I have la, I have I'll go, go and just pray la. Here sometimes got creepy creepy thing happen la. I just Don't, don't bother la. Don't bother la. Sometimes will be like that la. Uh, You okay now? You okay now? I say I okay la. Okay, He doesn't know my Entire series of Unfortunate events right? He was just advising me la. Just take it easy la. Uh, Sometimes Bad timing uh, Certain things can happen But he was He believed it was something paranormal of course lah. Yeah, because it's not me only. He, he also, also no, heard it. Yeah. But it was close to the door, right? It's Very close. We were hearing. Right? We knocking, knocking. Can be heard. How the, the whoever was could have escaped? 
Ya, yeah, that's right. <laughs> no one could have like climbed up so because the yeah. window is so high up, you know. So like, this one is. Really, we don't know what to day, say lah. Seriously. Day time, some more. Day time, yeah. It's like not morning lah, afternoon. Yeah. But it's like. Yeah, but it's still yeah. day time. What is? It's not, sup- usually we will say that we see ghosts in night, right? Yeah. But nowadays all very like uh, upgraded. Now we can. All more daring. Yeah. Really. <laughs> so this time we don't know what's the history behind it. No, that like, I also never ask the mm. the personnel lah, the the staff. Uh, what happened or that because I don't think he's a long time staff in the school also. so but I think whoever experienced there maybe went there to the toilet before maybe they would maybe have, a lot of people would have experienced something but they just choose to but they choose to keep quiet, keep quiet or maybe they would have shared among themselves yeah. or that lah. so this is the second incident the third one <laughs> is it the toilet no 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 okay. it was not <laughs> it was not in the toilet but What? It was the same block. Where was where's the toilet? Where's the toilet is, is lah, but okay. it happened somewhere around there. Okay. <coughs> so this one happened when I was going for my patrolling. So patrolling time also, I remember about to rain. So the the sky was so dark, and the school also was so gloomy, you know, like very dark. And whenever the school holidays, like I said. You want to save electricity. So they don't on the lights, lah. Corridor lights all not Ayyoh, on. Then how? So we will tell the the school. Hmm. Uh, can we on the lights? It's for our own like precautionary measures, lah. Yeah. We say unless it's a heavy rain, if the principal is in, if there are staff working in the uh, the second level, the staff office, uh-huh. then on the lights. If not, don't. If not, so you all indirectly. Your watch, your uh, so, uh, if not. <laughs> Indirectly just telling you're gonna die lah. <laughs> Don't care about you lah. <laughs> Maybe lah. <laughs> no lah. Like, um, in a way correct lah, because there's no children there, so there's not much movement. So it's a heavy rain, mm. and all that because once there's thunderstorm, heavy rain, all that, then on the lights lah. Mm. Okay, so I was going through my patrolling rounds lah, and it was creepy as hell because, like I said, it was very dark. Okay. So I was just going through my rounds, everything, and I have to go to all the top levels okay. to see whether if there's any like contractor, any like uh, cleaner sleeping or oh, you know, okay. like of course school. So a lot of prevention measures lah, like anybody smoking or not, yeah. all that. Cause outsiders can just come and hide inside as well, mm. you know. So this kind of thing lah. So as I was walking along the top level, right, it was so silent. At that point of time, seriously, guys, I was I felt very sleepy. Seriously, I was like, yeah, I want to go back home and sleep, lah. Seriously, seriously, because it was so windy, so quiet, you know. So as I was about to approach one of the, um, the clocking points, mm. lah. There's a road stretch of classes, lah, classrooms. So I went to, uh, I passed by this particular class. And I heard like, the table and chair move. This kind of noises, I think, even in our HDB flats, also we will hear lah. Mm. So it could be like the bottom level, somebody move on top of the vibrations. Mm. I just ignore. I just went and then I check whether the there's a cat ladder lah. Mm. There's a cat ladder, then there's like a padlock to see whether is it latched or not. If it's latched, okay, all secure. Locking that point lah. But when I return back, I have to return back the same way to go to the other locking point. Mm. I got shocked because that particular classroom where I felt that chair and table moving vibration, right? Uh-huh. I really got shocked at the moment when I saw the window because the windows are made in a way where the bottom le- the bottom part of the window is like um, frosted, then the top one are uh, clear glass. So at that frosted glass, right? There was a shadow of a person leaning against the frosted window. Okay. I stood there for five seconds and more. That person never moved. 
So what's the happening thing about this episode, right? I took photos. I took photos of this thing and I would like to show it to you all uh, but not to reveal so much about the school I have cropped out the surrounding areas I've not added anything to this this is not uh, edited in any way so right now I'm going to show you the photo which I took so here it is if you see in the photo like as I mentioned the frosted glass area there's someone leaning against the window if you see the left side at the corner right you can actually see me in the reflection taking a photo of that thing but the scariest part was as soon as I clicked my camera phone right I took a picture right that thing walked away it moved away from the window and after that it became clear like the other two windows in the center okay so this is quite creepy but there's no one inside right it, yes that's what that's locked, what right? that's what happened um after taking the photo as i mentioned the thing went forward it moved forward and disappeared right my immediate re regret was why I never take a video. So what I did, I kept my phone away. I approached the classroom. Because it could be a cleaner inside. It could be a maintenance technician inside. It could be anyone inside. Or it could be even a trespasser. Mm -hmm. So I went inside. I went and peeped above the clear window mm -hmm. area. Mm -hmm. There was no one. Without hesitating, I went to check the doors. The back door, the back door of the class was locked. Uh -huh. I went and checked the front door. The front door was unlocked. I opened and I went in. Mm -hmm. I never knocked the door, nothing. I opened and I went in. Because my mind was someone hiding inside. Mm. I opened and I went in. No one. this like goosebumps feeling you know guys hair raising at the back of my neck I was like don't know what to do I left the door open I, I literally ran down because this was at the level 6 mm. I took the stairs and I ran down mm. I incompleted my clocking for a while so I I just composed myself at the level 1 and all that then my last point is at another block mm. so I just walked there slowly took the lift I went up there and then I settled the clocking with it. Something was there like telling me, hey, inform, inform the team leader. Lah. But something in me also tell, I don't want to disrupt. Mm. I don't want like give them the fear lah, and then they, after that, not comfortable to do clocking anymore, patrolling anymore and all that. Or maybe they don't believe it. Uh, or what if they don't like, believe, yeah. People will think like, oh, you're lazy to do, that's why you... Excuses yeah. and all that. So I, until now, I've never shared my colleagues of this incident. La. But what you saw in the photo earlier was very true, creepy. creepy, and not edited in any way. My only regret was why I never take a video. I should have taken a video. At, at point of, at, yeah, at the but, point of time, you'd be like, I just want to take a photo, you know? Because uh, in our clocking device, right, if that's a person trespassing, this photo will be useful. I could have added this photo into the the mm. clocking device mm. because it's like not the baton like thing to send. It's like looks like a phone. Mm. So anything we find out, like the doors are unlocked, the rooftop door, mm. we will take picture and then include oh, the thing. Okay. So upon the findings, okay, there's okay. someone here. There's a contractor not wearing his uh, safety equipment, working in height. Okay. So my intention was take a picture first. But now yeah, since it's a, was a person, ah, uh, but now since it's something paranormal, so this is the the only photo uh, I have to show. And seriously, this all happened in 2019's December holiday. Yes. <laughs> 
to actually hear this kind of stories uh, is actually quite uh, like I myself won't believe like it's very unbelievable mm. you know it's like happening within a month and then especially at the same block you know and then you are the most closest there yeah yeah so Sadly. it's very like uh, sometimes it's uh, like how to say it can be very creepy you know because like you are working there every day mm. and like you you somehow will be remembering like you now if I want to go to toilet or if something happens like you have to work with fear right um okay work with fear and with that like I think working with precaution lah mm. it's like whenever now I enter the toilet I still have that thing like okay what if this thing is standing there ah, and I open yeah. the door and all that like you know because it was like on other occasions already whenever I'm washing my hand already I, I sometimes can feel like something is there with me you know like I can feel its presence you know that kind of thing all. so like a lot of things lah and then especially whenever I'm going for patrolling also mm. whenever I see that classroom have children or not my immediate memory is that window what was the thing mm. leaning against I don't know whether is it the is it a different spirit or is it the same girl the same kid I don't know because it was like quite frosted mm. so can't really see uh, but looking at the picture it looks like an old man like bent down yeah, like, it ah. looks like a man to me that's why my mindset was maybe it's a cleaner yeah. cleaner uncle just using his phone using like that or what. so when I look there's no one not even anything placed against the window yeah, it, 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 it maybe old man or what but it's definitely a man lah Maybe, yeah, yeah maybe. it looks like a man shadow Because after taking the picture I never silenced my phone so you know when you take a picture but the sound right after that sound right the thing moved away you know so, yeah, so it's like thinking that oh someone was there lah ah, right? trying to hide so so until now yes like what you say I have that not fear but like a cautiousness lah within me whenever I approach these two areas mm. lah cannot avoid what have to right yeah I can't avoid Okay, so we have come to the end of this creepy tale from him. Okay, so next time must pray and go. Ah, yeah, that's right. Okay, so <laughs> until then, signing off, Arshad. Anju, ciao.